Hi everyone, this is Dave and this is my Fuji Instax Mini 70. This is fast becoming my favourite camera. Now I've wanted one of these for a long, long time and I was very kindly sent one over the Christmas period. I wanted to just share a little video with you about it. Now before I talk too much about the camera itself, I do want to actually turn it on and also take a picture so that this can be processing whilst I actually record the rest of this video. So if I just turn it around to the back again, you'll see we've got a mode button just here. We've also got next to it a selfie button. So if we push this, it goes into selfie mode, which means it's gonna give me the right focus for if I was holding this at an arm's length. And you'll see on the front, just by the lens here, a little mirror. So this is what I'm gonna line the photo up in so I can get this framed correctly. And then I'm gonna push the button and it takes the photo, and then the actual picture comes out the top here. Look at this, this is absolutely awesome. Now the reason I wanted to take this now is so that you can see it developing whilst I talk about the camera itself. So we've got a flash on the front, we've got the shutter button just here. I just explained to you that next to the lens we've got this little tiny mirror, and this is used so that you can frame the uh, photo correctly. We've also got a little sort of wrist strap supplied and you can connect this to either side of the camera via this little loop here or this little loop here. And you can also use a neck strap as well if you wanted to or a shoulder strap. Now we've also got on the bottom edge a tripod mount so we can mount this on a tripod but I was a little bit disappointed. This is probably my only negative point is it's only on this edge here. So you can only mount it in a portrait uh, orientation you couldn't mount it on its side which is a little bit of a shame on this side here we've got the uh, sliding or eject mechanism for the back door where you're going to put the film and then if we look across the top edge you can see some more Fujifilm branding and of course the slot where the photos come out and look at this this is developing already there we go it's coming on nicely really nice to see that developing in front of your eyes brilliant now if we go around the back uh, we've got a little door here, which is where you're gonna put the batteries. We've also got the viewfinder, where you're gonna frame up your photo. We've got the main power on off button, a little LED display. This shows what mode it's in, and it also shows how many frames you've got left. You can see here I've got seven frames left. Now, if I push the mode button, it will flick around into different modes. So we've got like a macro mode for close-ups. We've got a landscape mode, and then we've also got a forced flash mode as well. If we go back round to this setting here, we've got a high key setting, and then it's just background to normal. We've also got a timer mode as well, so if you're taking a photo where you've got a group shot and you wanna get into the photo, you can. And then of course, we've got that selfie mode that I showed you earlier, and if we push this, it just extends the lens a little bit, if I show you this side on, so that's normal mode, and then that's selfie mode, so it just extends it a little bit, adjusts the focus, so that the focus is correct. Because you've got no focus control, no focus ring or dial or anything. It's all done by the various mode settings. I think this is just a great piece of fun. I think it's absolutely awesome. Let me turn this off so you can see the lens go back in. Quick to start up as well, you know, ready to take the photo very quickly. There's also a little window here so that you can see that there is a film inside. Now the reason I can't show you inside is because if you open it up, it messes up the rest of the film. So let's just turn this off and I'll show you what the film looks like. I'm not gonna show you the actual cartridge because it's in a, a foil uh, pack, but this is the size of the film and you get a twin pack with 10 uh, photos on each, so 20 in total. If you keep an eye on Amazon and places like that, sometimes you can get a twin pack for, I've seen them as cheap as £10.99, which is really good. A general price seems to be around about 14, 15 pound, and that's for 20 photos. So it uses Instax mini film. Very, very cool indeed. Now we can look at the photo. So this is uh, properly developed now, and I just think it is fantastic. They've got a nice feel to the photo. I think it's just a, a great fun camera. And the fact that you can take a photo of somebody, or maybe if you're in the photo as well, you've got a group shot, and you can give it to that person straight away. So they've got a memory. They can stick it on their fridge, they can pop it into their wallet. Not enough people 
print out photos nowadays. We're all taking digital photos on our digital cameras and on our smartphones and they remain on those devices and it's only normally us that gets to enjoy them. This way, more people can get to enjoy your photos and it's just great fun, absolutely superb. This is the Fuji Instax Mini 70. I really love it, it's available in all different colors. Uh, they do like an electric blue, a yellow, I think you can get a black version as well. This is obviously the white version and I think it's just a really great fun camera. You can certainly explore your creativity with this as well. I'll leave a link to this product in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button and I'll see you all in another video very soon.